Motherland has arrived. Unfortunately, I am Superman of Doom. The people of the Motherland have come. Unfortunately, I am Superman of Doom Chapter 19. It seems that the other party is really the artificial intelligence Ultron that was not eliminated in the first place. But Quentin Baker's mind turned. Ultron needs Spider-Man's share of Stark Industries. Doesn't this mean that the other party has now lost control of Stark Industries? Thinking of this, Quentin Baker suddenly had an idea in his heart. Yes. Yes. Quentin Baker showed a look of embarrassment. But what good do I do by doing that? Ultron quickly responded. After you assist me, Stark Industries will belong to me, and the Avengers will belong to you. Quote. Quentin Baker's expression struggled again, and finally gritted his teeth and waved his fist. Deal. Ultron asked. What are you going to do? Quote. Quentin Baker smiled. Since the other party knew the plan, he did not hide the details, and looked very sincere. I master the projection technology of advanced virtual imaging. And with a few Stark drones in my hand, I can make the projection imaging in the outside world to reach the degree of false reality. Quote. I also learned about Spider-Man, Peter Parker's high school student, and that they were going to travel to Europe during the summer of school. At that time, I will pretend to be a superhero from other multiverses, Mysterio, and fight against the advanced virtual imaging projection fake world-destroying monster, the Elementals. This is to establish a superhero character like Iron Man. Plus some true feelings, and give Spider-Man a frustrating blow, and then defraud him of that stark permission. When the artificial intelligence avatar Yi Meng heard this, he knew that Quentin Baker would definitely succeed. After all, isn't this the storyline in the Marvel movie, Far From Home to Spider-Man? Next week is summer vacation, I'm waiting for your good news. Yimeng, disguised as Ultron, dropped this sentence and left. Nice to work with. Quentin Baker smiled genuinely. Until Yimeng left, the special effects stage of the private factory fell silent again, and the smile on Quentin Baker's face did not disappear. Just now, everything was naturally his disguised acting. Stark Industries to you, the Avengers to me. Oh, I want them all. Quentin Baker smiled coldly inwardly and thought to himself. He decided to pretend to cooperate with Ultron first, wait until the summer vacation to cheat the permission from Spider-Man. And then clean up Spider-Man who, betrayed the Avengers and the supervillain Ultron who, tried to destroy the world. At that time, Mysterio will be the first hero, inheriting everything Stark Industries and the Avengers. Dot dot dot, A.I. Amons leaves the private factory and returns to Morgan's family cabin. Just now, Mysterio was acting, why wasn't he acting? The bureau has been laid down, just waiting for the summer vacation to come. Yi Meng secretly said in his heart. At that time, it depends on who is the real actor and who is the final winner. Dot dot dot, wake up in the morning. Yi Meng, who returned to reality, originally did not want to go to school after experiencing yesterday's events, but thought that there were only two days left. And his high school life was completely over after the federal college entrance examination. The real life that used to lie down comfortably may also be gone. Yi Meng still changed into a school uniform and went out. Walk through the school as usual. Yi Meng thought that he would scare off a large number of students like yesterday morning. After all, it is normal to be scared after watching the torture video that circulated three years ago. What I didn't expect was. This time, Yi Meng has just entered the school, and has indeed once again become the focus of attention of students inside and outside the school. However, most of the students did not show the same look of fear as yesterday, but were full of envy and jealousy, as well as an incomprehensible strange look. Some male students' eyes were even slightly red, like an angry bull, who wanted to give Yi Meng a head, but was quickly dragged by other male students. Did you beat him? Those male students were originally a little resentful, but when they heard the words of their classmates, they suddenly withered. The torture video circulating yesterday is still vividly remembered, who dares to fight him? Yi Meng raised his eyebrows, is his wind evaluation change too frequent and powerful? Or rather, something happened again. Yi Meng was about to probe his consciousness to the mobile phone of a nearby student, when he saw a dark and strong 1 meter 9 head rushing towards him. Pan Hu, Yi Meng said hello, but saw that Pan Hu's expression was not quite right this time, walking as if menacing, and his red eyes were full of indignation. You bastard. Pan Hu came to him, raised his sandbag-sized fist, and swung it towards Yi Meng's face, but stopped halfway and gave a thumbs up. Awesome. Niuda made my boss, how did you chase Meng Tifa? Talk to me quickly. Quote. Pan Hu was so excited that it was like he had won the 10 million prize, and the whole person was red and excited, and he couldn't help himself. If Yi Meng didn't say that he would cut himself on the spot. 0023 the day he left the Stark family. How do you know? Yi Meng was stunned. Pan Hu's eyes were as big as a cowbell. Not only I know, the whole school. No. People all over the world know it. Quote. He took out his phone, flipped it quickly, and opened a piece of campus morning news. Look. Yi Meng looked at it, and the corners of his eyes couldn't help twitching slightly. What? Dream century little princess Tifa public romance. What? The man is a violent high school student. What? The secret of early love that a schoolboy girl and a poor otaku can't tell. 
Put this on hold to write a novel, right? Yi Meng sighed softly. It seems that he has recently been too immersed in sleep to explore dreams, so that he is a little delicate and disconnected from current events in the real world. And he has not even been able to know some things that happened to him in time. This also gave Yi Meng a wake up call. After all, yesterday I didn't even know that the video from three years ago came out, and I was taken to the paranormal department for containment and isolation. Every time I wake up in the future, I am afraid that I will have to understand what is happening in the real world for the first time. Yi Meng's thoughts flowed. Pan Hu looked directly at Yi Meng. What do you think? Quote. How else to look? Yi Meng spread his hands and said calmly, Well, Tifa is indeed my girlfriend. It was three years ago, after that incident, that I met her privately. It's actually true. Pan Hu was so excited that he trembled. That's Meng Tifa, the petite girl of our school, the spokesperson of the dream century. You finally took it? This is even the hot search of the district station in the eastern jurisdiction. Well, although this caused the shares of Dream Century to open this morning directly below the stop. Quote. When Pan Hu said this, he glanced at Yi Meng with a slightly embarrassed look. Of course. You can't blame the boss for this. It can only be said that Meng Tifa's popularity on the internet is too high, and as the image representative of Meng Century to the outside world. Pan Hu's words stopped abruptly, looking in the direction behind Yi Meng. Yi Meng looked back and sure enough saw a black-haired girl wearing a school uniform skirt walking into the school gate. This time the other party no longer pretended not to know the other way as before, but walked towards the two. Under the gaze of all the students on campus. I remember. Your name is Pan Hu. Tifa came to him with a light step. Her bright black hair flowed and danced, her youthful and graceful figure swayed movingly, and she said hello with a smile. I often hear Yi Meng mention you. Quote. You. Hello. Pan Hu scratched his head nervously. It was the first time he saw that this usually arrogant and lonely heavenly lady would also show such an approachable and soft side. Of course. He also knew that this sweet and bright smile was for the people next to him. Boss. That. I'll go first. Let's talk back. Quote. Such a big man was overwhelmed and stunned, then quickly threw down a sentence, and ran away in the direction of the teaching building without waiting for Yi Meng to respond. He's a nice guy. The girl covered her mouth and laughed softly, and looked at Yi Meng with a smile on her eyebrows. Let's go. Yi Meng didn't say much, and raised his right elbow outward. Tifa's face turned slightly red, but she did not hesitate and reached out to hold Yi Meng's arm. The two walked into the campus side by side like this. In fact, in terms of appearance alone, Yi Meng is not inferior to Tifa at all, and walking together is very right. The high school campus fell silent for a while, as if the heartbreak of many students could be heard. The teachers in the school also pretended not to see this. Although the corresponding laws in the eastern jurisdiction are more conservative and prohibit high school students from falling in love with each other. The college entrance examination is now the day after tomorrow. After the federal college entrance examination, many students' youth will end here, and their lives will change to different paths. So, who can bear to break the curtain call of this youth? A corner of the campus. A tall and handsome male student had an extremely ugly face, and the whole school knew that he had pursued Tifa for three years, and as a result. The other party was taken down by a civilian student who never looked at him three years ago. For him, this is the biggest setback and shame he has suffered since he was born with a golden spoon. In particular, I recalled the words that Chen Hong, the driver of Meng Tifa, conveyed in passing when he returned the secret photos. Wang Xuan wanted to vomit blood. Chapter